It seems Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have divided the globe, but I think we can all agree that South Park decimated them last night, and we have the clips. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and yes, last night's South Park titled The Worldwide Privacy Tour was peak South Park, one of the funniest they've done in a long time, and so spot on. Yeah, South Park eviscerates Prince Harry and Meghan Markle amid the spare fallout. Now, I have the clips here. We did, uh, I had edited them together. I'm gonna have to talk over them. I have to give you commentary. You guys can watch South Park over on their website, southpark.com. South Park Studios, I think, has it here in the US. I think HBO Max and other outlets have it as well if you wanna stream it. Definitely watch the full episode its entirety. But I wanted to offer you my commentary as well as transform these clips, make them my own, and give you what I thought, uh, reaction to what I thought was one of the best episodes in a while, and comment on how smart and correct they were. So here's how it starts. There's a whole subplot that I'm not going to get too much into, but the, uh, the the episode revolves around you know the, the prince and prince of Canada. Uh, they react to the queen dying. And here they are showing up on a Good Morning Canada talk show. It has been several months now since our beloved queen has died. All Canadians are finding it hard to go on. All Canadians, that is, except for our first guest, the prince and his wife. We, we want privacy! We want privacy! Now, I've cut, it's a lot more, it's a little longer than that segment, but yes, they are defined by these signs. We want our privacy. Stop looking at us. Uh, that is how it starts. <laughs> you've lived a life with the royal family. You've had everything handed to you, but you say your life has been hard, and now you've written all about it in your new book, Wah. You <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I gotta go back. Wah. <laughs> your new book, Wah. I mean, yeah, that's, that's accurate. Eh. You see, my wife and I, I are totally like you should write a book because your family's like stupid and then so are like journalists. So you hate journalists. And now you wrote a book that reports on the lives of the royal family. Right. So you're a journalist. We just want to be normal people. All this attention is so hard. <laughs> we just want to be normal. The attention is so hard. He just also, I love the reaction of like, yeah, you are actually now becoming the journalist. I've said this so many times in my critiques and so many people are mad at me that I've, oh, how dare you criticize them? No, I, I don't really care about them, but they've become the thing they're complaining about and nobody seems to acknowledge that. Isn't it true, sir, that your questionable wife has her own TV show and hangs out with celebrities and does fashion magazines? What are you suggesting? Well, I just think some people might say that your Instagram loving wife actually doesn't want her privacy. How dare you, sir? My Instagram loving wife has always wanted her privacy. And you know what else? To hell with Canada. My Instagram loving B word wife. I love how Prince Harry just repeats it. Uh, yeah, some are so saying and implying that she doesn't actually want her privacy. And uh, that's really the kit, the crux we here. We are leaving. We'll go find some quiet place where we can be normal people. Come on, wife. We Come on, wife. <laughs> We want privacy. We, we want, want privacy. privacy. Stop looking at us. We want privacy. And now this segment had me dying. They do a, I, I can't really play it all. Again, watch the episode. I told you at the beginning. They do a whole like magical mystery tour sound alike from Trey Parker, Metstone. Come on, come on, come on. It's a privacy tour. <laughs> we just want our privacy. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's really, really good. Up there with Montage and so many other amazing songs that South Park does. But they go on. Here they are in the tour. Worldwide Privacy Tour. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> just, I cut this a lot. But they're just going around the globe holding the signs up saying, Stop looking at us. We want our privacy. And I just thought, I just, I have to give it. It's just so beautiful. We want privacy. We want privacy. <laughs> they lovingly look at each other. We want privacy. We want privacy. We want privacy. We want it's a worldwide privacy tour. Come on. And of course, we gotta end up in Colorado. Look at this town. Oh, darling, I think this might be the place. If we moved her, then people would think we're really serious about wanting to be normal, <laughs> live a normal life, and have babies. Can we rally him up here and finally have our own privacy? Privacy. Privately, we can finally have our privacy. I will do anything. For your privacy. <laughs> do anything for your privacy. Again, this is the Canadian accent. They've been making fun of that forever. Now here's a sec. All right, so now they move into South Park. I, I skipped a little bit of it. Again, watch the full episode. They move into South Park across from Kyle. Kyle's now also throughout this episode trying to adjust his own brand uh, through a brand awareness firm. It's also very funny where they give you a new identity based on, uh, you know, adjectives. And the last one's always victim. And uh, so he's trying to rebrand himself to make be more popular with his friends. 
And meanwhile, at the same time, the prince has moved across him, of course, and it's just had me dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Respect that <Yeah. my> <laughs> Down with the monarchy. We just want our prophecy. The neighbors across the street are setting off fireworks, and it's 10:30 at night. Oh, is it the Prince of Canada and his wife who just? Want <laughs> I love the I think the police know. Oh, is it they who just want their prophecy? Want to be left alone? Oh, God damn it! Now the prince is playing polo on the lawn. Hagar, Hagar, Hagar! Privacy is a basic human right. Privacy is a basic human right. How many more princes and his wives have? How many more princes and his wives <laughs> live in this nightmare? <laughs> Can you two <laughs> keep it down? Hey, you ever heard of a thing called privacy? <laughs> they proceed to then keep shooting balls into his house, and Kyle gets the very upset. He's drums all day. I don't even think he has a job. <laughs> yeah, this scene, I'm queuing it up. He's now complaining to his friends at the cafeteria. He plays drums all day. I don't even think he has a job. And I don't know what the hell she does. Why they even What does she do? <laughs> Podcasts. Left Canada is beyond me. And like. She seems to just boss him around and make him do whatever she wants. I mean, why did they even leave Canada and move to South Park anyway? Stan, are you going to say something? Say what? Look, Kyle, we just kind of don't care about some dumb prince <laughs> and his stupid wife. <laughs> oh, my God, they took it to the next level because it's so funny how they're, yes, they're accurately portraying, in my opinion, the parody, the over-exaggerated version of them. But here's now what the reality of the world is like, we don't care. Stop talking about it. I don't care about them either. So then why do you talk about them all the time? <laughs> Steph, Steph, why do you keep talking about them? I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, but I can't get away from them. They're everywhere in my face. Yeah, now you're putting them in our face. Fine, I won't talk about them anymore. Thank you. <laughs> okay, just one last thing. Did you know the prince sleeps? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I won't, I won't do it anymore. So now Kyle's distraught because he has no one to complain about. He can't get his brand right. And he's got to deal with the prince and princess who keep shoving everything in his face. And then... <laughs> they're in the window. <laughs> shoving all the particles in his face. Don't care. But Kyle does the right thing. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to give them attention. I don't care. Yes, this is the lesson. What a brilliant lesson. What the hell? What did he just say? He victimized me. It's because I'm an ethnic woman. <laughs> oh, my God. He victimized me. It's because I'm an ethnic woman. You can't do that. I'll say, wait, you're ethnic? <laughs> oh, Jesus. South Park doesn't pull any punches. This is an outrage. We'll just see how he deals with my blue penis. He's gonna have to see my big blue penis. <laughs> so then he passes on the house. Oh God, I was dying when I was recording this. I was dying. I was like, hey, hey, you, I have privacy. And then he goes and unzips. <laughs> now I had to blur it. I had to put the popcorn logo in there because yes, <laughs> there's a big uh, frosticle, what do you call it? Icicle. Uh, then he's just... <laughs> Hey, what a respect my promise as he keeps shoving his frostbitten, you know, pee pee in Kyle's face. But Kyle, to his credit, does not look, <laughs> which disappoints Harry and Megan. They both uh, begin, I think the last little clip didn't happen. They begin crying. Oh my God, Bra I mean, bravo. I won't spoil what happens at the end, but there's uh, one last little final takedown on Megan and Harry. We're at the end. They're, they, they of course, are at the same brand awareness, and uh, Harry is trying to, like, Kyle sums it all up, like, well, you gotta just be ourselves. We shouldn't make define human beings as brands and be worried about our brand and how it looks, which is, to me, the criticism, a fair, absolute criticism of Harry and Meghan becoming a brand and protecting their brand and using Bot Sentinel and all this stuff. And, uh, yeah, if Kyle gets to Harry and Harry tries, but Meghan still, of course, is not gonna give up fixing her brand. Uh, so yes, I highly, highly enjoy this episode. Bravo to Team South Park. Last night was last week was pretty funny. With a they did a yay episode that really, really the ending is really funny. Um, but uh, yeah, kudos. They're on. They're on. They're still. They still got it. South Park. You still got it. And uh, my God, that made me laugh. Come on, come on. It's the wild, wild prophecy. <laughs> I'm going through the slums like, hey, stop looking at us. I couldn't sum it up better. I couldn't look. Obviously, it's a parody. It's it's the spoof. It's over exaggerated. But yeah, there's some definite truth to this. Is why it's so funny. And I really don't think 
Megan and Harry are going to like this. <laughs> I don't think they're going to like watching this one. They're going to get very annoyed at this is the the way. I mean, you got to laugh at this. If you don't laugh at this, then you're then it's even more problematic because they're going to look so so you know. But I'm very curious how if they will ever react on this because even like Kanye had to react to the gay fish episode of South Park. It's kind of hard to ignore when South Park does a vicious takedown like they just did, which is literally all over the news. They tear into them, eviscerates, uh, brutally roast, trashes, roasts all over the press today, rolling around laughing as co viewers as comedy takes aim at Harry Morgan. Because, look, they summed up what so many of us have been saying, but they did it in such a brilliant way that, yeah, we don't care, guys. We don't care, especially here in the in U.S. We, enough. Take your frostbite and penis. Go away. We don't care anymore. Please leave us alone. Leave us alone. <laughs> it's so... Uh, but there you go. Bravo, South Park. Did you guys watch it? Let me know your favorite part down below. Uh, make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for all alerts. Smash that like button as well. And leave a comment down below. Show some love in the comments, please. Because I'm sure some are going to say, why did you talk over it? Because I had to. Blame YouTube. We'll be back live later today with more information, more news. So don't miss it. Thanks, guys, for watching Popcorn Planet.